His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. We're wearing, wearing the Chick-fil-A uniforms. It's really our pleasure because we're really enjoying yeah. the time. The name tags in everything. The name tag is a dream come true for me. This is so exciting. It really is. And it's also a dream to have Trudy Kathy White, the daughter of the founders of Chick-fil-A, in the studio with us. Good morning, Trudy. Good morning, Allison. Great to be here. And Trudy was a Chick-fil-A restaurant operator at just 19 years old. Yeah, that's right. Can you imagine? My mom and dad entrusted a restaurant to me. I just finished my first year at college and was home for the summer. And dad was looking for an owner-operator for that particular store that was going to open up and I said hey I'm right here I can do this for you you know so yeah walked in and took over the store You've gone on to accomplish some amazing things, including your new book. It's called Climb Every Mountain, Finding God Faithful in the Journey of Life. So how have those mountains strengthened your faith? Uh, They've been powerful for me. Here's the deal. When I look at mountains, I think about the fact that they are a symbol of God's character. They're just never changing. They're always there. They're powerful. They're majestic. And it's just wonderful in a life where the world is changing all around us to know that there is something that is steadfast and never changing. But they've also been a symbol of life's challenges and life can be tough for all of us it doesn't matter who you are even who you're related to life can be tough and so it's been a joy to write this book and just share about my personal stories of challenges that God has put in my path along the way and how I've been able to recognize God's been faithful every step of the journey you you even talk about your dad Truett and some of the things that he faced poverty in life oh yeah the journey through high school some of the mountains didn't even go to college yeah no it wasn't until his late 40s that Chick-fil-a actually really became a thing, right? Yeah, you know, people people don't realize that. My dad was 25 years old and single, and when he opened his first restaurant in 1946, and interestingly enough, about five years later, he opened his second restaurant, and he said, you know, things are going pretty good. It's just two restaurants were a handful for him, kept him kind of busy, you know, and then, uh, then he got that unexpected call in the middle of the night that his second restaurant was on fire. It was devastating for our, our whole family, and uh, my dad says it put him back in his first restaurant for a season of time, mm. and it was there that he invented Chick-fil-A. So uh, he looks back and said, you know, almost if it hadn't been for that fire, there's a chance he would have never uh, invented Chick-fil-A. And so it's very interesting to see how sometimes the Lord takes things that are really devastating and difficult for us in our life. And as we move through uh, that journey, we look back and we say, oh, man, you know, God has really used that to be a blessing in my life. We wouldn't have asked for a fire, but when he gives it, we know that he's up to something and that he's at work for our good and for his glory. So true. Now, you and your husband served in, as missionaries in Brazil. You founded Life Shape and Impact 360 Institute. You're also very passionate about the Wind Shape Camps for Kids. Oh, Can yeah. you tell us about that? Well, I grew up going to camp as a young girl, so I am a product of what camp can do to someone's life. It has shaped and molded me into the person that I am today. Wind Shape Camps is a camp of quality, offering some great experiences for young boys and girls. And we're opening our first ever outside of the state of of Georgia. Our one-week overnight camp is going to be right down the road at Gardner-Webb uh, School there in Bowling Springs, and we want people to know about this camp because if you have a child completed first through fifth grade, they have an opportunity to be at this camp. It's a camp for all boys exclusively and then a camp for all girls as well. As a matter of fact, my son goes to Windshape Camp. Okay, fantastic. My youngest. He loves it. Great. What's Absolutely. his name? Eli. Eli, okay. Yeah, awesome. Elijah. So yeah. I know you know him. No, uh, well, I'm not, <laughs> not sure I'm not. You remember him. <laughs> you would remember Eli if you ever ran into Eli. He loves Windshape Camp. Past three years he's been going. Okay, fantastic. Which is wonderful. And since since we're mentioning the one at Gardner-Webb and the overnight camp, which I think is phenomenal, we have two opportunities for you to win a camp today. One for the girl camp and one for the boy camp. So here's all you need to do. Text the word camp, C-A-M-P, just one word, camp, no emojis or anything else, just the word camp to 800-447-7234. Trudy's going to send you right off to that camp. There you go. And you're going to have the summer of a lifetime for sure.